Hi everyone, welcome to the first of what will hopefully be many uh, B Talks, and uh, this is my way of doing moments where I talk about the bees, how they're doing, what's coming to my little shops, uh, what's going on in general with bees, and just general bee talk. Um, so this is the first of hopefully many, and I want to start off with the thank yous. Uh, thank you to Marsha Walker, George Taylor, um, The Valley Hive, everyone there, uh, and Laura for hosting my bees, um, Valley Hive for teaching me and helping me with supplies. Um, oh, and the LA County Beekeepers Association. It's a great help to be a part of them. Um, and Marsha Walker and George Taylor, of course, thank you for um, getting me started with everything because they helped fund and had the first place to host, even though that didn't work out uh, too well with the neighbors. Um, so yeah, I got my thank yous out. Uh, let's see. Now I want to talk about um, what's going on with the bees now. So what's been going on with them is they were, they I took them over to Marsha Walker and George Taylor's house. So what's going on with them now is that I took them over to Marsha and George's house and they were living there for a little bit and new neighbors moved in and they're a little paranoid and afraid of bees for whatever reason um, so they did nothing to complain about them. Um, so I had to move them to a place temporarily and that didn't quite work out. It's a little bit of a difference of opinion. Um, so they had to move from there and now they are living at Laura's house in um, still in Los Angeles but a little further dif different direction uh, and they seem to be doing so well right now they're super happy they're laying all kinds of eggs drones um, and they've almost made it about a year it'll be a year April April 23rd I want to say it's when I picked up the package of these uh, and I will be talking about the difference between a package of bees and a nucleus of bees, a nuke of you, and uh, I will be picking up a nucleus of bees this year. Um, so I will have two hives. I'll have the one I started last year, and then I'll have this one. And um, let's see. So that's kind of what's going on with the hive now. They're very happy. Don't have any honey yet because it was their first year and they sort of struggled over the winter time. I didn't know to start feeding them back in October. Um, but now I know better and it's always going to be a learning process. Um, and then next up we're going to talk about the future of this channel. Um, so basically what I'm hoping to do is of course be talks and I will be posting all the videos. I have a ton. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to run out of videos anytime soon because I've been recording since the beginning and I've been going just about every day, which or every week, every 7 to 10 days. Um, sometimes a little less depending on the weather, uh, but definitely going to be going through and hopefully editing about a month's worth of video. Um, a month's worth? No, I'm going to be going through all month and editing each video to post. Um, while simultaneously posting more bee talk videos. Um, and also I have the Patreon. That's the biggest thing that I want to talk about right now. Um, I have multiple tiers on there, but I'm excited to announce that my plans are with one of the tiers to have a little thing that I want to feature where it's your favorite flower. So you'll tell me your favorite flower. I will draw it out and have the sticker on the hive like I have the little beekeeper fencing uh, the bee. Uh, so I'll have your favorite flower with your name and I will send you one of the stickers and then I'll give you a little shout out with your favorite flower at the end of each YouTube video uh, if you are a part of that tier. And you'll get other benefits too of course. Um, and of course um, with the Patreon that's also something like I'm working hard to do more on that and kind of keep the YouTube going alongside it if anyone has any suggestions on how I could, any tiers or any interests that you'd have. Um, definitely thinking about doing um, 
discounts with some of the tiers too for things in my Etsy shop and my Threadless. I'm not sure how to do discounts on Threadless yet, but um, definitely some of the things featured are going to be like this little mini hive. It comes in parts. Um, so yeah, it's it's a little mini beehive. So this is it's a little pricey on my shop, but it's worth it. It takes about two days to put it together. It has everything, including things like a little entrance reducer, frames. Yeah, it's it's got everything, and it takes two days to print, so it's definitely worth it, but I will be putting discounts on that for the future of the Patreon. Um, and I have other things in my Etsy shop that are going to be like candles. I have a skull going right now, and I have a little um, beekeeping skep hive. I am hoping to make more, kind of a, a kind of gothic kind of theme um, where, what is it, some of them are going to be that I have in mind. I want to do a Hand of Glory, which is the left hand of a hangman. Uh, so the candle will have each finger, hopefully, has the candle. But it'll be from my bees, so you'll have the wax. They have been producing a lot of wax, so I have plenty to work with here. Um, the honey will come along hopefully this year, especially with the uh, extra hive I'll be working on, too. Um, there's other projects, too. Um, like, I have this guy here. Um, I'm hoping to turn into a there we go <laughs> so I'm hoping to turn that into a nice little cross stitch pattern but I also have it set as well as the stickers um, so that you can buy t-shirts masks um, t-shirts masks pretty much anything like you can buy a pillow I, I'm considering a pillow I have a t-shirt on the way of the beekeeper fencing um, and all of the, the Patreon shop and the Etsy shop will be available in the link down below. So be sure to check that out. And um, let's see, I think that's about it. Um, oh, uh, the candles. I can tell you more about that. I was thinking like gargoyles and um, other various things. Hand of Glory is the one I'm most excited about. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if you could do me a favor and hit the uh, sting the subscribe button, um, buzz the bell so you can get notifications, uh, share with your friends, comment, like the video, it all helps me out. Um, check out my Patreon. It's the nerds and the bees dot com. Patreon dot com slash the nerds and the bees. Just go down in the description. You'll find it. I think that's pretty much it. All right. Um, yeah, this should be a fun beginning to things. Alright, see you later.